Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Maddie Robbins and I'm a senior at SUNY Geneseo, which is a college in western New York. And if you don't know where that is, that's okay because frankly, before I came here, I did not know either. I'm from Long Island, so my perception of the state was that there's Long Island, of course, then there's New York City, or just the city, if you're from the downstate area. And now, this is where things get a little hazy. Before going away to school, I knew that there was an Albany, because that's the state's capital. I suppose I knew Buffalo, Rochester, and Syracuse must have been floating around somewhere upstate, but that remained one of life's great mysteries at the time. I guess downstate people are lazy because we don't bother to learn what's beyond Westchester County. Everything above that point is simply upstate and you can't change our minds. Okay, this wasn't meant to be a geography lesson, so let me get back on track. I'm a senior in college, as I said previously, and yes, that fact scares me. But for now, I'm studying communication as my major and sociology as my minor. My favorite classes so far have been those centered around television and video production. And I'd say I've taken about four or five courses that pertain to both audio and visual content creation. And my favorite has to be last semester, last spring semester. I was in a television news class and that one was pretty cool. We have a TV studio on campus that the production classes have access to and it was really nice being able to use the equipment as part of the class. We would have these rotation type situations where everyone in the class would take turns fulfilling a certain role on set each week. Right now I'm taking another class that has us back in the studio and I'm really happy about that because I enjoy being down there and working with all the equipment. My time here at Geneseo has made me realize that I want to go into television production. The only problem is I don't have any experience in television production outside of Geneseo, but we're going to work on that. Um, I've been filling out some job applications, cover letters, all that, that good stuff. I'm really into comedy and satire, and my dream job would be working on a show like Saturday Night Live or something similar, but SNL has got to be one of my top three favorite shows, so I would like to work there. I'd like to think also I'm creative enough to work there and would be able to have some say as to the content that goes into the show, what the audience watches, like being in the writer's room or just having some role on set where I'm having a say into what makes it onto the screens. But I know it's a competitive field and I don't know if anyone at NBC is looking for a professional meme analysis. I also wanna take a moment to apologize for my poor camera quality. This week's vlog didn't have the budget for a high quality camera, so we're working with an iPhone 6 that has been through some hard times, more specifically the hardwood floors of my apartment, repeatedly. Okay, I definitely dropped my phone upwards of 20 times in this video, so the quality at the beginning is possibly better than the quality now. Anyway, to get back on track, I wanna spend some time talking about the cool world of television production and show business. Since I already brought it up, I think I'll stick with my example of using SNL. Now, all TV shows, whether they're live like SNL or pre-recorded, require an executive producer in order to get the shows up and running. Everyone on set answers either indirectly or directly to the executive producer because the executive producer is the one who is financing everything on set. And when I say on set, I mean both in the studio and in the control room. For those of you who are unfamiliar with those terms, 
The studio is the production space with a controlled environment and it's where the lights, cameras, props, and talent are located. Now, television studios usually have high ceilings with grid to accommodate all types of special hanging lights, and the floors are usually smooth, so cameras on dollies and pedestals can move with greater ease. Now, the control room, on the other hand, is where all the behind-the-scene action takes place, and this room stores the technology for program switching, audio mixing, recording, operating the teleprompter, and basically everything that you don't see on set, like the audience isn't watching. Now, getting back to our Saturday Night Live example, the executive producer for this show is Lorne Michaels, and he oversees the chain of people who work under him. This includes the producer, who works closely with him in order to achieve the show's goals. Side note, the producer is the one responsible for managing the production process, and this includes people both in the studio as well as the control room, but ultimately the producer still answers to the executive producer. Essentially, Lorne Michaels is everyone's boss. His job is to ensure that there's enough money to fund the show, now, this isn't a problem for Michaels because he's been putting on SNL successfully since 1975 and he did take a five-year gap, a five-year break from 1980 to 1985, but he, he's got the funds now to put on a good show. And after all those years in show business, he's made a name for himself as well as a substantial yearly income, so good for him. With that said, he has no problem financing his own show, unlike some other up-and-coming executive producers who have to oftentimes go through independent financing companies to be able to afford their production, whatever that might be. And this holds true for both television and film. I think I respect Lauren Michaels so much because not only, well, not only because I like Saturday Night Live, but he seems to be very hands-on on the show and he knows what's going on, unlike other executive producers who might just be the person funding the project. Uh, Michaels meets with his writers, cast members, and producers every Monday preparing for that Saturday showing. Um, and this is where ideas are offered by everyone, uh, basically the creatives of the show. And the, this process every Monday takes over two hours where he's just meeting and talking and grabbing ideas. And it continues throughout the week. Eventually they build up to preparing sketches that's near the end of the week where they're actually rehearsing them. And Michaels also uses his time to meet with the guest host each week, which I think is pretty uncommon considering this person's only here for a week and yet you have the person who's in charge of everything coming down and meeting with you. And he asks for their ideas and inputs on the sketch, which I think is really great because he wants to put on one a good show and I think that also involves letting your guest have some say in what they're going to be performing, not just telling them, okay, you're going to be doing this and this, deal with it. Also important to note, it's probably during these early stages of the show, like Monday, Tuesday, preparing for that Saturday night showing, where the guest host signs a talent release form, and those are written documents that grant the executive producer and the show the right to reproduce someone's voice and image. Executive producers have to be mindful that they're following all legal precautions prior to each show, since they're the ones with, you know, the money and the budget and all their assets. They have a lot to lose if someone tries to sue them, so have your talent sign release forms. Very important. Well, my iPhone is going to die soon because it's needy and demands to be charged every 20 minutes. 
And since I'm not an executive producer with many resources like Lauren Michaels, my tech department isn't able to buy high quality camera equipment. Also, I can't afford a tech team, so I am my own tech team. I'll see you all next time, hopefully with a better camera. fell okay and in that time we did fall quick break Blake is so hot I am in this like foam chamber and Blake's hot to begin with but this room has a carpet and yeah it's, it's not going well I'm not that tall my camera's so zoomed in Didn't crack. Maybe, maybe I'll do it on the carpet. Am I the shine here? No, but you want to be. I'll break my phone in one of these. <laughs> um, maybe I'll trip and then like. Should I look at you? If you want to. No, work on the puzzle. Okay, sorry.